So we're recording. Um, so welcome to the meeting. Uh, it's Tuesday, April 25th. And uh, we can open the floor to public comment. Does anybody have anything to say? Okay. <laughs> anybody on Zoom? No, nobody's on Zoom. Great. Um, do we public comment or we're going to talk? The public is not the committee. Is that it? Yes. Okie dokie. Right. Is that, is there, I mean, you is could you would certainly it? make a comment as a as a citizen and not a committee member, but you'd have to state that. You see, I'm saying you know, making Perfect. a comment as a. But I am I'm not I'm you know I'm all on the committee here, and I'm you know whatever I say at okay. this meeting, I'm all a right. committee member. Thank you. I do have a question. Yes. I'm, I'm a, just a little confused. Is Article 19 even still on the? No, comment? they wiped it. Yeah, they wiped it. So, um, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk further about that uh, when it comes up on the agenda. Yeah. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Yeah. So we're recording, but we haven't officially started really yeah. yet. Um, oh, I thought it was no official there. public comment. Oh. Um, next on the agenda is approval of the minutes from April thirteenth. Motion. I was so moved. I thought they would just wonder. <laughs> Great. Any comments? All in favor? Does anybody read them? I read them. Yes. People I know you two do. <laughs> I mean, I, I do too. Okay. Do you get copies of the minutes? He, he's not on technically on the committee. I know. I'm just the inner circle. If you want, I can send well, it. It should really be after they're approved by the committee. Oh, okay. All right. And through like the public kind of. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> so uh, while we're on that topic, actually, um, the the plan has always been to get the minutes up on the town website, um, and it hasn't happened yet. Um, I checked in with town hall again to see if we can get the information up there, uh, and I got a "we'll see what we can do" response. Um, so they do have all of our. Um, minutes up through uh, the first week of April. So um, okay. I'll check in with them in a couple of weeks to see uh, what the status is on that, so. Who does that, Jennifer? Uh, yes. Excuse me. So committee rules and responsibilities I added on there um, due to the, uh, mostly due to the open meeting law that I had anticipated attending today, which I did attend. Um, and I've learned some new things. Um, you know, this this is all pretty new to me. This is the first uh, town uh, committee I've been on. So um, there's certainly room to grow. Um, so one thing that I thought was interested interesting was um, things that cannot be shown in email are ideas, beliefs, and concerns mm -hmm. um, that will all have to happen in a public meeting. Um, <clears throat> And uh, if you're having a conversation with another committee member, um, you cannot share those thoughts um, that were said technically mm -hmm. confidence to another committee member. Um, <clears throat> uh, reply all is considered a meeting right. um, when opinions are shared. Um, replying only to the chair is best. Um, um, it was also new to me because I assumed that Replying yeah. all is the best option, so everyone's informed, but apparently that's not the case. Huh. So I mean, that's why, in, you know, in the beginning, I threw out a bunch of that stuff. I said, you know, we're not, you know, just, it's open meeting law. Yeah. Don't yeah. violate. Don't reply all. Yeah. Don't, you know, just put the information out. Don't respond. All right, all right. So the minutes that I write every week, mm -hmm. I just write them to you? We can forward them you to the whole them. committee, but... Nobody is allowed to respond. If there, if you want to make amendments to the minutes, you do it at the meeting. You just send the minutes in. We'll all read them, and we come and we review the minutes. Does everybody approve the minutes? And someone will say, "Well, we're approved." <laughs> and this amendment, we will discuss the amendment and amend it there, and we'll have to approve it. Well, the, the way that minutes have been going is that I write them and then um, Courtney adds to them um and that's okay <laughs> i think it's okay yes okay. 
It's fine okay. with me. <laughs> so I think in the future, it makes sense maybe to send directly to me and then I'll put it on the drive and then I'll send it around mm -hmm. to everybody. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks. yeah, but we should really refrain from making any changes or amendments until the, you know, to come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. And if we can go through it, if somebody's highlighted something and said, well, that's not exactly what I said, or that amount is different, or, you know, the yeah. date is different or whatever, just make sure we get that. Okay. An official. Great. Sounds good. Um, another thing is sticking to the agenda, trying not to waver from that too much. Um, I think we can uh, do better with trying to stay on topic, um, reining ourselves in, um, and giving everyone an opportunity to briefly speak. Uh, and I'll do better with uh, keeping the meeting moving. I know that's certainly a challenge for me sometimes. So, um, well, should we be raising our hands and you coming <laughs> on? No, I don't think so. I think we oh, just have to be okay. more cognizant of each other. Um, when there's a question on an agenda item, um, those questions can be sent directly to me uh, and not to the whole group. Um, and then any communication with outside of the town hall, select board, et cetera, should just come from me. Mm -hmm. Questions, thoughts? Yeah. Okay. So um, I want to finalize the Hannah Rambles site uh, description. Has everyone had a chance to read through the um, intro? Yeah. So, um, Dan had recommended removing um, the the piece that says this number equates to more than five hundred seventy six thousand dollars in twenty twenty three. Yeah, that's the the what a dollar is worth now. Yeah, that doesn't mean what real estate is worth now. Right, it's much 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 more. Right than that. Yeah, good point. I don't. It just seemed. Um, Almost irrelevant um, well, for, I, for a bunch of reasons. I mean, you know, nowadays the there's there is building codes, and yeah, of course, this building was, you know, they they sort of designed building codes around how this building was built. Um, if there was, it, it would yeah, it would it would cost so much more than five hundred and seventy six thousand dollars to build. Well, I was thinking home. in terms of selling it. it Probably is worth a lot more than that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, in today's market, yeah, that well, was certainly assessed higher. And I and I did it wrong. Um, I was looking at the value of a dollar versus the value of a dollar now. Yeah, and that's and far different than the value of a building then and the value of a building. Yeah, now. no, it's it's yeah. a it's an impressive thing when you think about it. Yeah, but, right. You know, then again, it's it's to me, it's kind of irrelevant, and it sort of it sort of makes it seem like the the town cheaped out they only paid you know a percentage of what that building should have cost you know the, you mean at the beginning at the beginning when they first built it i mean oh, it, I, I mean no i don't it's, think so. it was a lot of money back then oh yeah um but at the same time there wasn't the commerce that hadley has now it was a much smaller town well it wasn't i mean it was built with a lot of money back then and they yeah. didn't they yeah, didn't have enough they had a model from Hopkins. yeah uh, so and thank you for, for taking that out it wasn't a big deal to me I'm gonna let it fly but yeah just, yeah no i think it makes sense i didn't yeah, have a strong it feeling does. on that um i just thought it was interesting but i i would actually i'd put a lot more into that intro yeah. but i don't want to you know this is going to go on it's forever too, would be too much like already, right. no. <laughs> like that's the second paragraph is really big. Yeah, and like it, it fills in that chalkboard nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, like when you have too much word density, people don't actually read it. Right, right, right. right. Um, for those of you who may not know, this is a, a 360 degree uh, tour of the interior and exterior of the Russell School, um, which we are, uh, we have almost finalized and should hopefully be able to launch in the coming days or weeks. It's very exciting. Where are you going to put it? Um, just online or what? Yeah, share through social media, um, through the email list that we have from the survey. 
um, anybody can essentially share it. Yeah, I mean, if if it was done uh, for the big party they had over there at the Young Men's Club, boy, a QR code would have gone a long way. <laughs> that we would have gotten a lot of. You would have yeah. got a lot of, of you know feedback. But stuff like that, when if you have a poster with a QR code on it and a little picture of the building in the QR code, yeah. maybe a small caption. Maybe the Asperger's Festival is coming up. Yeah. Usually the, they give the town like one or two tables for like park and rec or whatever. What? I didn't hear what you said. What? The Asparagus Festival is coming oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. GBY? Yeah. Okay. Okay. NEPM, right? Is that the same thing? Yeah. Well, I don't know. But <laughs> it's on the common. <laughs> Well, last year it wasn't on the common. It was down at the school. It was terrible. Was the no, the parking was on the common, and you had to cross the street to get over to the festival. Which is, which was the other side of the common. Right. Well, that's still called the common. common. Yeah, in front it's, of town hall. Oh. Who do I remember? Yes, question? I just, uh, I'm curious, is there a purpose of this 360 degree uh Video or is that what I'm yeah. hearing? Um, it's not video. It's um. It's a virtual like, walk a, Yeah, so you can walk through any room in the like. any space in the building. I don't know if he did the restrooms, but because we can't physically go in the building because we're not allowed to, it's not open to the public because of liability. This is a way, you know, it's not. Ideally, ever we would like everyone to be able to go inside because it feels different, right? When you're in a space. But this was at least something that we could provide. Is is this done by a? Are you mm -hmm. some contracting it out? No, it was a volunteer who does this for a living. Um, it makes these. He has his own. It's panoramables. This is his website, and he's got several of them. Sure. Um, and it's, he just volunteered because he's he uh, he likes the building. He likes our mission is to try to save the building, and he volunteered to do this for us. Okay. You'll have to look at it. It'll be out soon. I don't do social media, so you don't might have to send me a copy. Yeah, we, no, we can definitely. <laughs> we'll find you. I think you're on that. I think you're on the survey list too, so I can send that out that way. Um. So any additional edits? No, I thought you did a good job. Right, everybody did a good job. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I could I could go on forever, so I don't want to do that. I mean, it's good that he put a, a you know a word limit on there, right? And we got some information out. You know, I would I would approach it, you know, and more of a you know sort of of a help save the building type of thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be I don't want to seem biased. We just want to give the history of the building, let people make their right. You know, if they if they're interested, they can contact the committee or the select board or whoever. You know. And that's what we're going to add as well. We'll add the contact info for the Russell School Committee and maybe the Historical Commission. Probably the Historical Commission. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, Historic Society, you'd have to get their permission to link to them. And I, I don't know if they'd be interested in this. I think that's a big part of the divide in town. This, this Historic Society really, when they ever got thrown out of Goodwin Library all those years ago, it's just never healed. And it's so sad. It is something. Yeah. Okay, so are we can approve it. Do we need to motion to approve it as written? Thank you. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. All right, we're moving along. Okay, so prepping for the public forum, which is this Thursday, uh, and for the time meeting on May fourth. Um, so over the past couple of weeks, there's been a few select board meetings um, <laughs> where. Uh, Articles 18 and 19, where Article 19 was discussed and 18 was introduced um, without our knowledge. Um, and essentially, it was uh, recommended by the select board to have the CPA um, remove our stabilization application um, article, which is Article 19, and introduce Article 18. Um, we did not like the way that it was written initially because it has said uh, that no money could be placed into the Russell School until the completion of the feasibility study. And the intention initially was to have eight of Article 18 and 19 together. So 
Article 19 ended up being scrapped. Article 18 remains, but it has been, the language has been adjusted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read it um, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $40,000 from the CPA Historic Set-Aside Fund or CPA General Fund for the select board to engage a firm to undertake, undertake a reuse feasibility revenue for the Russell Square or take any other action relative thereto. Said funds to be expended under the direction of the town administrator within two years of the date of town meeting approval. Any unspent funds will automatically be returned to the foregoing CPA uh, fund by that date. Um, and then there's some votes underneath. It says CPA committee recommendation 501, finance committee recommendation 500, um, and then select board recommendation. There's no vote there, but. Um, when did it go from 20 to 40,000? That's a good question. Uh, initially, it was 30,000. Yeah. So it wasn't 30 to 40. Okay, 30 to 40. So sometime between when we saw it and then the, the group meeting of the finance CPA and select board. Well, I would, um, I'd be interested to find out if... Yeah. Um, That you know, you could take uh, an amount out of that to pay the old Mohawk to update the numbers. You got a quote from Ward Hamilton to mm -hmm. update his numbers for the activities we're we specified. And Ward um, Hamilton is who? Uh, is uh, old Mohawk. He's old. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, that you know, it it seems to me that that. Um, you know, that's something that that you know give us instant information as to how much we need to think about spending on those repairs. I I I, th I think that um, you want to go ahead. Well, that I'm just confused. So I know that they made the recommendation for a new feasibility study when they didn't have or weren't aware that they had the information that a recent feasibility study was performed. Yeah. They know it was performed. So it's not. just rhetoric. I'm well, just, I'm not so sure. There's there, there's no feasibility feasibility study that is currently valid. Any information has to be you know acted on within 365 days or it's just null and void. There's just you, you can't use last year's numbers. And that's why we tried to get enough money yeah. from CPA to do you know, the, the study to get the numbers for the mm -hmm. repairs, I actually do the repairs. Yeah, I get it. It's just we're never, it's the endless cycle. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's taking the can down the road. Yeah. Um, the, I, my understanding was it wasn't the numbers, the cost of this and that and this and that. It was the use that um, the select board was uh, interested in. Well, they were interested in both, but it was also the use. Yeah. Well, I've got a lot to say about that, but I'm not going to say it because, you know, we have a problem here and it's that, you know, even with the media, I've been misquoted. Yeah. Um, any, it seems anything we say can and will be used against us. Yeah. And so until time comes, you know, you know, I, I know exactly go. how this should go. I've, you know, I've, I've, before these buildings were built, I wrote a plan down, and it pretty much went to the exact plan that I wrote down as how we got these buildings. Yeah. And you know, I'll tell you when when town meeting comes, I'll tell you how this should go. And you know, it's up to the people. It you know, just, there's a, it makes a lot of sense to to reuse this building, and. Um, you know, with the projects we have coming up and the amount of space that we still don't have. Yeah. Um, that feasibility study, if the pictures had, well, this is the assessors, this is the um, collector's office, this is, uh, you know, the, the footprint of the building mm -hmm. on that feasibility study. Yeah. So uh, implied that it was going to be town hall and but it's, it also was devised to spend the absolute most amount of money. 
you know, for what? Because you can't you can't really do those types of renovations in that building. Oh, you know, I see with, what you're without, saying. Yeah, without yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, without triggering without huge stabilization. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you, I mean really, beyond stabilization. Yeah, you have yeah. to, you know, right. you you right. do have to build a steel right. infrastructure if they want to build right. that. Got and it. you know that's really silly. You know I mean, what was curious to me is that you know you and I both took that um, uh, Massachusetts preservation the uh, yeah the, uh, foundation or money something. training and I asked about well what about feasibility study and they said well you gotta have it up to date or and then you asked and they said no three years was fine yeah um. So, I it seems to me that if it's fine by the state, well, um, it's to, uh, yeah. does the town have to be more stringent? I don't know. They don't have to, but they can. Yeah, I know. I you have wasn't the right word. Yes, they can. But it seemed. No, it's just a point of clarification for myself. Uh, you're talking about, are you, are you referring to the DRA study that was done? No. There was yes. another one? No. Oh, yeah. Yes or yeah. no? Or yes. What? DRA. The we DRA was a feasibility study to convert the building to town hall. And it's uh, right on the town website. You can find yeah, it. I have it. All right. Yeah. That's, you know, if you look at it and you yeah, go, you find I the blueprints. I did notice that there was yeah. a drawing with schematic. Rooms with that signed rooms to each that, different. Yeah, that he checks out. Um, that was that's one thing. Now you're talking about right another one. Yeah, well, that's there right. are a whole bunch of different ways you can get money <laughs> from the state. Uh, Courtney had about six, and uh, she and I took a, a training mm -hmm. for a um, you weren't here um, a training for a um, to get grant. a grant for up to a hundred thousand dollars. But it was, it seemed very difficult at the time. Now it seems easy. Yeah. Um, and um, it had to have matched 50% match. So we were hoping that the CPA money would Which be the 50%. The current CPA money? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, but now, you know, okay. uh, I think uh, I, for one, would like to go ahead with that study. I mean, that um, grant. Whenever oh, we yeah, get. I mean, we have to see what. It won't be up to town meeting. You won't be able to. No, it won't be up to town meeting. It's up to us. Well, who's going to who's going to throw in the other? Do you have a budget? Does this? No, 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 no. Jump. You're right. We need. We would need to get. Be CBA nice, wouldn't that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, be nice. We have staff too. Yeah. Because I've been hearing. Uh, that. Uh, from the money in, in the old Article 19 okay. had a feasibility study in it. Right. Okay. Uh, I just did the math. Uh, yeah, it did not. I think we clarified. It did not. No, I thought we had separated out. No. And we did. did soft costs, right? Yeah, cleaning right. soft costs to, to find the numbers. Right, because according oh, to thought... this EPA meeting minutes that I have, yeah. you add up, uh, all it says is, uh, uh, you know, brick and mortar type stuff. Nothing about so you can't spend money that mm -hmm. you haven't been approved to spend by right. Town it has meeting. to be specified. So whatever you're talking about is really a moot point mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think our goal was to uh, stabilize the building so we can buy time to do feasibility study, interview all the necessary people, committees, uh, staff, um, and to also allow time for more for other important um, okay. items to happen uh, during the, in, the, right. in the town. So yeah. my, my, I guess my point being that if you want to have soft costs, you, you do need to delineate specify. them, specify yeah. them. Uh, and get them approved yeah. by the town meeting, or if you have a budget, then you don't, and you have to go to town meeting mm -hmm. to raise, as that term is raise and appropriate. Raise and appropriate, right. Yeah. <laughs> so if the feasibility study passes, um, we will be the speaking deal to make sure that that happens, um, and hopefully be able to apply for CPA funding 
um, in the fall, ideally. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll try. Well, the, I don't have the new 18. But, well, she just read it. Right, that's what to look at in front of me. But it's, it's given a two year, two year lifetime. Right. Yeah. So that's a long, that's a long way. time. You can kick a king and, a long way into a and, years. Or not. <laughs> right. The way it's written, uh, I don't think anything can be done until it is done and completed. Yeah. Correct. That's right. So, that's right. Uh, that's right. You're basically whistling in the dark if if you you know. Well, well I mean, so you so were, ours correct. is off the table. So correct. You you mentioned it hopefully in the fall. Well, no, it's hopefully in 2025 that that can even be considered. Well, Carol and Brennan. The town administrator is very, very interested in this building and wants to preserve it. And she wants to go forward with the feasibility study as soon as possible. Correct, but it, so, still, can, it still can take two years. It could, but it could not. Correct. So uh, we have to tap. But it's up to the board of selectmen to go out and select board. I'm sorry. I've been on the select board. I, I'm sensitive yeah, I, to that. <laughs> I was on the board of selectmen, so oh, <laughs> uh, nice changed. Yeah. Right. So uh, where were they going with this? The select board needs to go out, and if they're going to spend this money, they need to go out and put this stuff for bid. Exactly. Okay, and then you're so that's basically a ninety day. Does it have to yeah. be yeah. Um I think anyway, we won't have control. Yeah. Over yeah, you, the piece yeah. of it. We just have to yeah, have kind of good faith. They have to get the specs written up so that they can put it out to bid and, and see if they can get people to mm -hmm. you know and they won't have any problem coming as oh yeah, I can no, assemble yeah. a bunch of papers for forty thousand dollars, no problem. Right. <laughs> Give me that job, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean it sounds like we already have two at least two people are interested in right. redoing and it. And so. I mean yeah. the 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 whole impetus was when you offered them the uh, Architectural Heritage Foundation. Yeah. They, you know, yeah. oh, there's somebody else that can give us something. That was the thing. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, so we've got their wheels spinning on that. So, that's, well, yeah, that's right. That's great. Um, you know, I, I'm, if, for, if I would be um, disappointed if we were kept from going to any of those meetings, it's very important that the committee that they appointed to deal with it. Is actually dealing with it. That not the way it's written. You was there a committee appointed? This committee is mm -hmm. on the bench, and there other people are playing the game. The select right, board, right, right, right. The select board. Did I say that right? Select yes, board. Yeah. The select board is now running this committee. Yeah, is there? An, well, is they've always. This is their committee. You know, we they they appointed us right to deal with this issue, <laughs> but then they do what they want. Um. Did they appoint a committee? Yeah, us. We, no, 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 for this stabilization. I mean, for the, the study, the feasibility. No, no. no, they already have a committee. This is like catch 22 yeah. here. <laughs> well, that's the thing is if they, you know, it's obvious they didn't like what we were doing. And well, we they're going to do it the way them. they want. Yeah. Do we want to um, support this Article 18 as a committee? Um, we voted not to support it last time. As it was written. As it was written, yeah. But I, I, I mean, to, to if we want to be good citizens, do we want to support it? I'm the chair. I can't say anything until you all talk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. I said I'm the chair, so I, I can't I can't give my opinion until you all speak. Oh, I <laughs> feel like we're a subcommittee off of the select board, and we've done our charge. And we brought back our findings to the select board. And this was the recommendation for town meeting and for the warrant after, our, and they approved the adjustments um, with the committee's wording for the warrant. So I know for that, I would support it. Even though it's not ideally what we had kind of all hoped for as an outcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. How about you? You know, I, again, I, I would, I would want to be part of that process, you know, yeah. um, to me, you know, we've worked 
this committee alone more than a year on this. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of information that can help the people doing the study. Um, sure, they can get a lot of information on their own, their own uh, but we have a lot of stuff to survey uh, the, you know, the studies, the, 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 you know, the, the things we've been going over, um, a lot of opinion. We have all of those suggestions that came in with the survey. Um, well, do you, you want know, to support this article? I, I would, I would support this article, but I, I, you know, I need, I need to know that the, um, uh, the, the people who are putting the survey together remain unbiased. And you know what their charge is going to be is basically the charge that the town gave us is to assemble, gather information, and make a re recommendation as to how to deal with this building. And um, you know we we've already done all that, and if it, it seems to me that they're going to hire somebody to do what they want, and you know to Greg's point, they're running the show now. Um, and you know, I I have a hard time supporting it unless it's absolutely unbiased, and the the uh, the wh whoever is chosen, whatever outfit is chosen to do the uh, the feasibility study is uh, giving recommendations as to what the best choice for the town as a whole is and what the best choice for the future of the town is going to be um, financially as well as um, you know how that pertains to the longevity and um, persistence and, and continuing of, of the community it's like to, to me it's community preservation i mean i'm in the wrong committee i should be on cpa <laughs> so Greg, I CPA, I yeah. but Carolyn, I want to I want to see if you wanted to share your thoughts on Article 18. I think we should support it in good faith. Yes. Um and you know we the best way to get what we want is to be on their side. <laughs> well, well to work with I mean I'm 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 not in my own little world here. And I yes, um but I it's a feasibility study. How how subjective is this going to be? Isn't it going to be as objective as possible? Well, I think the challenge is that with the one that was last done, it was basically to make it town hall and do exorbitant over right. construction. Right. Not over, but lavish things that we well, <laughs> this building is lavish compared to what right. we had for a C senior center oh my yeah. <laughs> yeah and you know it would bring that building to this quality for sure anything that you know but feasibility for what particular use right and now when you know in my mind i'm thinking of feasibility at this point how feasible is it to save the building how feasible is it to tear the building down how feasible is it to preserve it because we're going to need the swing space for a different project that's going on? Certainly will. You know, uh, you know, how feasible is it to, you know, save it as a, you know, a, you know, the building that's already there. All we need to do is a few things to it to, to make it into a usable storage space. The last time the store, this, this, this building was used, it was rented to MassDOT so that they could do their project on Route 9 and redo this section of Route 9. And if yeah. they can rent it to MassDOT and put in a mini split so that they can use it for an office, why can't we use that as office space for DPW? Because their project is several years down the road. It's going to be several, you know, it's going to be, I'm, I mean, at least what? $20 million. Are they adding on to the That's, building or is it going to be a new building? For DPW? I mean, we don't know. I mean, it seems, it seems to me they're, they're going to have to somehow use the existing property and at least some of the existing structures yeah. there. So they're gonna, I mean, if you're trying to tell me that those trailers, that those people are in the office over there at the DPW are safer in those trailers than in the Russell School. <laughs> but yeah, they probably are. No? So Greg, did you wanna say something? Uh, the way that article 18 is written. Yeah. Uh, 
there's no mention of the Russell Building Committee. Mm -hmm. right. You need, this committee needs somehow to get uh, in conjunction yeah. with the Board of Selectmen, right. because unless it is so stipulated, they could, you know, like I said, they're running the ship. The most important thing that this committee, I think, needs to do is to get involved in writing the statement of work, <laughs> writing the statement of work that will go out to bid to company XYZ. Yeah. Just so you know, you just don't say feasibility study. I know. Right? It could there be hundred different things. Yeah, yeah. You need to somehow work with the board of selectmen yeah. uh in conjunction in conjunction with you know i i would actually make a motion from the floor if i was you to say in con, you know to in conjunction with the board of selectmen the russell school committee in conjunction with the, the board select board, the select board mm -hmm. will yeah. ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Well, yeah i mean we pulled back because it wasn't our article. Correct, but now it's now it's there. You need yeah. to. Yeah, but it's not our article still. Right, but you can amend it. You can amend. Anybody that. can write. Can amend it. We can amend it on town floor. Yeah. Correct. Can you amend it before? I can ask. Well, yeah. well, we can ask. Have they posted the warrant? No. They, they post the warrant the very last second, the last legal second. They do. <laughs> they will post that warrant. So and and. Okay, well then, up until that time, I, I feel in nice. conjunction with the Russell School Building Committee, the select board, that up to that. Yeah. Thoughts? And they did. I, I I'd like to know myself why they jumped in another ten thousand dollars. I mean, yeah, if they're well, jumping another ten thousand, then well. Well, and I'm hoping it's to add a cushion and not for other reasons. Well, I hope they realize that they can fit that, you know, update the, the quote that you got to update some of the numbers. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, it'll give us a ballpark. I mean, it's kind of a lot of money. I mean, I've, I've got a couple of people working on estimates for this already. So okay, I know yeah. I'm going to know already what they're going to come up with. When it goes, when the feasibility stump comes back and they say, well, it's going to cost this much for this project. I'm already going to know that stuff. And, you know, I, what, is, it I, going to, is it going to be different than, than prevailing something wage? About, um, it was an update to um, the old Mohawk feasibility oh, the, study the, that was done. The thing that Alan and Dan worked on. Yeah. Right. The the uh, the, the items the that were specified. With. The articles. Yeah. The the things that were specified in Article Nineteen. Yeah. You came up with those figures. So the old Mohawk gave us a a, a quote to update <laughs> those numbers specifically. So, you know, select work could have taken that out of free cash or petty cash or whatever. And I think it was twenty five thousand dollars. It was not thirty. <clears throat> Of the original, for the study, uh, the, the feasibility eight. study. What he quoted. Well, they're probably just being careful, you know. Yeah, I'm hoping that's what it is. Well, and it's coming out of stabilization before it was out of free cash. Um, so the $8,400 was to update their exterior conditions assessment, assessment right. that was done in 2013. An interior assessment would run around 25000 Yeah. You could include a feasibility study with interior conditions to seven for an additional fifteen thousand. Well, that brings you to that, and that's why I um, they got to forty. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of money for studies that we've already done, and we don't. The thing is, uh, again, it, unless a feasibility study is specifically to make the building into temporary office space for DPW while they do their project, temporary office and storage space. Not to bring them, you know, the, you know, another feasibility study at a later date can be done as to what one, once that use is complete, and the DPW is up and running, and they can go back to their offices that are brand new, you know, fresh and clean. Well, has that been discussed? That I haven't even heard that no, except it, for right now. No, I mean that's. It, I mean, of course, that hasn't been discussed. It, it, the, they're not thinking that they have the space already that they can use. You know, they rented it out for. 
for for MassDOT. Well, uh, what are they too? Is, are they better than MassDOT or something? I mean, I, I don't get it. I, I feel like we're when you said runaway train, I kind of agree that we're often at, way ahead of select board, and um, it scares them. <laughs> well, no. yeah, I mean, we neither here nor there, there, but. Um, Maybe if we meet together and you mention that, gee, feasibility for the DPW. Well, the thing is, the um, DPW I don't think that's be in, there as a I don't think that's in their brain at all right now. No, it's not. But it will. Uh, what is in their brain is DPW will never never be there as a headquarters. It will never be. Uh, yeah, of course. DPW, but right. temporary office space, great. You've got you know you can fix the roof, which means now the roof is fixed. You can do a little bit of interior stuff. You can. Redo one of the entrances so that it's legal. He can rerun the uh, couple electrical circuits. Use it temporarily. All right. Can we? Um... Yes. Move along. Thank you. <laughs> so well, the plan. I'm, I'm completely lost now. Um, I think everybody agreed to support Article 18. Oh yes. Should we? Should we make a motion for that? Just so we well, what really if, have one. You said as chair, you were going to hold back. <laughs> oh, I think we should support it. That's all I'm going to say. So I make a motion we, as a committee support Article 18. Great. And um, move to help help the select board in any way we can. <laughs> Second. Okay. One favor. Aye. Aye. Great. So. Reluctantly, but. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Um, so the plan is for Jane to present Article 18 as the select board member as an FYI. Um, I'm meeting with her tomorrow so I can talk about all the things that we've already discussed. Well, um, and uh, are we going to speak to it at the town meeting? Um, that's the next on the agenda. Because, Dragon, you were going to do 19. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to have things to say about the whole thing there's it's such a divide in town and it's so sad it shouldn't be yeah you know but we're, we're trying to help and and it's sad for me to know that that uh it's just, that, that just continue the divide you know use money and power to divide people it's just yeah. it's on right i think we just have to um you know i think there will be a lot of public comment me too um which I think we can just say that we've done a lot of information gathering and research and we have information, but at this time it was decided to move forward with a new feasibility study. I think that's really all we can yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think we've that's given, right. I mean, we've, we've done everything and Take that's something. Yeah. We've, we've, you know, we've done, we've done everything we could and we've given every, you know, everything that the select board needs yeah to make a decision and yeah. they and, made their own decision yeah. instead. And then hope that someone calls the question yeah. and information <laughs> starts becoming repetitive. I'll right. be there. Okay. Right. Call the question. That um, used to be my mom's self-proclaimed most empowering thing to do. Call the question. Call the question. Yeah. So I think we should all be available to answer questions, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, don't know I that think so. Jane and the select board will be able to answer all that. See, uh, the thing is, they the select board doesn't really know what we've done. What? How did? How do they know what we've done? We've we've met with them a couple times, and you've done done beautifully. You know, given them beautiful things, but that was verbal. Uh, we never made a report to, to them. No, we've done reports. We've done a, the, the study and, we've, you know, let them know about the... the a report? A handwritten? Uh, yeah, the survey results, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the survey results. Yeah. But that's not a... Re that was one part of what we've done. Yeah. No. I think we should. I just don't know how much on town meeting floor we would be. Um, no, no, this is just for the select board to let them know, just like they didn't know about the uh, Mohawk. Was it the old Mohawk Trail? Was that the name of that study? The DRA study. Yeah, the DRA. 
But they didn't know them, about it. Well, well they, but they, they should they, have they, because we mentioned it. They paid for it. We mentioned it at every single meeting we attended, and they still claim that it didn't. Well, well some people don't listen. And, no. Well, the sad thing for me is, you know, when I ever got involved in this, um, you know, I went through all the, I went through the old Mohawk thoroughly, and I went through the DRA thoroughly. Yeah, I don't think anybody did that. I did. did you? Did you? <laughs> read it? It's you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of information there. I thought it was yeah, there's a ton of information there, and most of it's not good. <laughs> but yeah, it's well the. the you know, mean the, about the, the old Mo yeah. the old old Mohawk was a stabilization study. The DRA was a, okay. What's the what's the maximum it would cost to reuse this building? Mm -hmm. And you know, in my opinion, that's not the right feasibility study to do. Feasibility, we're we're feas feasibly we are not in a position to spend any money on that building until DPW is done. You know, the reason we want to stabilize it is so it will be there when DPW is done. Well, that's what and we And then do we can stabilize. think about maybe spending yeah. some money on it. But it's not going to last all that time. DPW is not going to be done for another three to four years at the very least. That's wonderful. I mean, can you imagine? We got, three, of course, we did get three buildings done in a very short amount of time. You know, OPMs was the key. Those OPMs kept things moving at a very steady pace. What's OPM? Project manager, the owner's project manager. Yeah. So, um, anything else in preparation for um, public forum and town meeting? Have a suit of armor. So, who's going to Thanks. public forum? So, I was going to go to public forum, but now there's a, a celebration on life on, on Sunday, and you know, choir practice for that. It's Thursday evening. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay. I'm planning on going, but there's typically not a lot of yeah, not a lot right, of for right. to say and do. It's basically they go over the articles, they straighten out any kinks, but there's not much. It's the moderator and the town yeah. attorney. Is it's, there any? So initially, when we we're going to have Article 18, we were going to have we were planning to have a table at the entrance, be available to answer questions. Have maybe this panorambles thing uh, and or a uh, slideshow. That's how me, not the forum. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that was for Article Nineteen. Right. Um, I don't know if people are are, you know, want to be educated about it right now. Um, if we do it now, we'd have to do it again. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't see the harm in it. I think it's a good idea to keep this in keep people's, it on the table. Yeah, because I mean as much as um, you know, people might say, Oh, the building's been there for a hundred some years, another six months not gonna matter. You know, that's just not the truth. It's just not the truth. It, you know, you, the more you let it sit there and not fix that roof, the, I really the soggier it's gonna get. There's nobody in there drying it out, there's nobody in there catching the water, there's nobody doing anything. And it's you know, Courtney, when you meet with Jane tomorrow, do you think you could bring that up? Yeah, that this is really, even though this one guy comes and says, yeah, oh, it'll be fine in six, you know, six right. months from now, or and they did not go on. It's not, yeah, especially if we have like two inches in one night um, of rain. That's you mean like last night? Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Been really yeah. bad. I don't sleep those nights because I know how much damage that building is going to get into. Yeah. Oh, that one picture uh, of the DRE study that showed the roof from the top. You could see the damage on the roof. Yeah. On that I mean, one side. On one that's... side in particular. I don't that's know which worse. side that was. <clears throat> okay. Anything else for town meeting? No. Okay. Uh, new business. Um, so I received an email from a woman named Laura um, who offered to um, uh, create a website specifically for their bus to school committee to disseminate information, um, including, you know, listing the minutes, um, uh, having a schedule for the um, upcoming meetings, uh, uh, just you know, information about the rest of school, et cetera. Um, I thanked her and told her to uh, sort of table her offer until we try to figure out what's going on with town hall and then what's what's going to happen with um, town meeting. 
because I don't want her to put through, oh, and this is a volunteer. She volunteered to do this. Um, I don't want her to go through all of the, the effort if we're just going to be shut down the town meeting. So I just want to see those areas. Oh, you mean Article 18? Yeah. It'll pass. Don't worry about that. Does she live in town? She, what did she say? She grew up in Hadley. Um, she did not say where she lives now. Oh. Um, I think it's wonderful. And that will really garner, I mean, maybe the select board will read it, you know. That'll garner uh, some support. By the way, I'd be glad to write a report to the town, to the okay. select board to say what we've done this year. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah. Because yeah. I, I uh, there hasn't been enough communication at all. I mean, we show up at their meetings once in a while and they... They listen for a while and then they forget what we've said. Yeah. Um, if and we don't have our liaison, we had, our liaison hasn't been here all year. Mm -hmm. And when I was liaison to different committees, I went to those dumb meetings. Uh, meetings. Um, but I think maybe if we ask, we're going to continue, right? As a committee, aren't? Uh, I mean, uh, that'll. That's up to the select board. Yeah, right? I mean, unless they cut us off, which is totally and, impossible. I and mean, I was thinking we should get more people and also invite, like Molly or Jane. Well, we to, have so, to invite the whole select board. That's right. Case, but they Why not? Know about the meetings. No, you don't it's, have to do it. It's supposed to be our liaison. Yeah. It's supposed to be our primary. They're supposed, yeah, they're supposed to be here more than often than not. So about your friend, if I I would say that she's willing to do that, I would put her on the agenda for the next meeting if she's able to come. And yes. Rather uh, than rather than deliberate, we're not supposed to deliberate open uh -huh. or uh, new business. We're supposed to put it on the agenda for the next meeting. <laughs> so well, we just you know, voted the open board. meeting article. I would, I would make a motion to if she's willing to have her in at the next meeting. Yeah, that sounds great. And the next meeting, um, I think, is after town meeting. meeting. So, so it'd be so in May sometime. Work. I think it's May tenth. Which is okay. Uh, Wednesday, May tenth at five thirty. Here. On my calendar. Great. Um, could you also ask Jane? I I really think we need a bigger committee. <laughs> Because uh, you two have done ninety percent of the work, and I've done the last ten. Um, so, are well, you taking minutes? We appreciate it. I said ten, I did ten percent. I said you guys did ninety, and I did ten. Um, so, uh, I did work really hard on that PowerPoint. You did, and that was great. That was great. All right, so we'll split. They did eighty-five. You did five. I did ten. Or you and I will split ten. How about that? Um, can we, can we get more, can we ask for more to ask for? I mean, we can, we started with eight and then we ended up having. Well, that's because people four. didn't realize what this was all about, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think maybe we'll, we'll see what happens at town meeting and then figure out, figure out what to do from there. Article 18 is just one article. Mm -hmm. And my my prediction, it'll go by in about five minutes. That's my prediction. It depends on who calls the question and when. Yeah. Because like, it, 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 it's such a sour uh, taste in the town's mouth. Yeah. And there's so many people, you know, you're either strongly for it or strongly against it, it seems. And, and um, you know, it's it's a hot button issue. And, you know, I'm I'm one for letting as many people speak as possible. Once you start getting into 35 minutes, 40 minutes of, of public comment, it's time to call a question. But, you know, keeping the <laughs> keeping the uh, this people to three minutes of time, three, yeah. three to five minutes of rant or yeah. rave, whatever. I'm Move I'm on. already having like flashbacks of the town meeting when it was. Was it about Goodwin and or here at the senior center? Yeah, there was a lot. And it the was senior center. And yeah. the meeting went to like 11 o'clock at night and yeah. we weren't even finished. Yeah. And they had to schedule a second. Yeah. Well, 
That's up to the moderator. Yeah. 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 And that's that was a big deal too. This is just a feasibility study. But I think I mean, people don't see it like, yes, it's just the feasibility study right now, but it leads to many other things. So, I, yeah, well, just, and, I the, and the issue we'll that see. like I, I'll keep bringing up is feasibility for what? Now, you got to be careful. We've done this already. We've done one for a school. We've done them for town hall. We've done a, a stabilization. That's three studies. That's I think it's going to round out to about $100,000 and no work's done to the building yet. Do you want to say that at town meeting? Yeah, I'm, it's kind of obvious. You don't really need to say. No, it. it's not obvious to people. I just I didn't realize hundred thousand. Well, how much was the not old ball sitting here? What should we pay for old Mohawk study? It's in the CPA's report. Just go to the CPA's like report 40, page, right? and they'll they'll yeah. tell you. Yeah, I just see like if we start making comments like that, then the people who are yeah. staunchly supportive Happy. yeah are going to be like, then why are we even yeah. spending any more money? Yeah. That's right. Well, I mean, it, 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 I think it's stupid myself, <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. Yeah. It, it's, it's stupid to keep spending money and not get anything done. Yeah. That's right. that, that was the whole point of Article 19. You're going to spend money, get some work done. Yeah. Comment. <laughs> I think you should just keep your head down. Right. Okay. Just keep your head down let them they gotta read the uh you know whoever reads the, the motion let them read the motion and let the moderator take it from there because i remember my first meeting that i attended of this was that forum when i asked the oh. question when i asked the question did george washington ever sleep there uh, that got in the paper yeah i know and, <laughs> Uh, I heard, I could hear the people in back of me yeah. already, you know, who is that guy? Yeah. What's, you know, <laughs> throwing knives and daggers. So yeah. Yeah. unless you want this to turn into a, you know, yeah, right, a wrestling right. match. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, I mean, the thing I was, I was sad yeah, to hear. I, the... I, I, I think I appreciate your, you know, every, every committee and every, <laughs> I could go on for a long time, but every committee does work and nobody knows about it. Yeah. And right, then, that's right. And then something like this floats up and it's out of your hands yeah. because the select board or the select people uh, pulled the proverbial rug out from underneath you. And at this point, you have to let the dust settle to see what's what's what after the dust settles if they vote since they pulled 19 if this gets voted down we're done yeah it's, well it, it's, it's, something's got to happen it can't no, not, i disagree nothing's got to happen well something's gonna happen well yes no well you know yeah, maybe uh like i in the dar study you know maybe the ground will shake and that building's coming down that's that's about the only thing that can be done because unless you get authorization to do anything, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Well, you know what? I think because of the survey that we saw that the majority of the people that responded really want to do something with this building. I don't think the issue is going to die. I really don't, and I think eighteen will pass. And why not? If it, uh, that's I mean, some it. people are going to say, "Why are we spending more money again?" Mm -hmm. And the, and if eighteen passes, you're just opening up another Pandora's box. Sure, but you know we've done so much work. I, I appreciate I think we that, can, but I think we can keep it under control. You think so? Because uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not Joe Joe Schmo out there doesn't know about your work and about sure. anything, and all he knows is there's a building here. Somebody may want to save it, and you know. Yeah, is there a thing in town meeting um, in Amherst? There was reports of boards and committees at the first article. That was always the first article. Does Amherst have? I mean, Hadley. Have something like they that. have a town report, but I don't. I haven't that seen it yet. Every town has. No, no, no. Article one. Then people get up and say, 
Well, maybe, yeah, they probably do because the finance committee gives a report. But at town meeting? Yeah. Like Board of Health doesn't do anything mm -hmm. like that. No, most, most committees don't. But once in a while, you know, like this committee that has been working on something. Um, yeah, what, well, well a, a progress report. Before the before these buildings went up, the Municipal Building Committee did have a report for town meeting and and our chair would stand up and at least give uh, three to five paragraphs of information, uh, you know, as to how we, you know, and I don't I don't think that went every year. Uh, no. In following years, it was just printed in the town report so, and nobody read it aloud. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. Just reading things in the report. Oh. I guess another thing to ask Jane. And it's usually only when you have like articles on the, you know, Correct. warrant articles on the agenda, this you, you give a verbal report. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Right. Second. Oh, sorry. Can I get a second? Second. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye.